It's too early in the morning for whiskey? Never. Welcome back to Bar Humbug. Today we're leaving the confines of the city behind us and heading out west to the sleepy town of Timbu. Located near the Great Ocean Road, the Twelve Apostles and the Shipwreck Coast, it's home to our first country distillery visit at the famous Tim Boone Railway Shed Distillery. G'day, my name's Charlie, I'm the brand ambassador for the Tim Boone Distillery. We're in the middle of the Gourmet Trail. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Southwest, if you can put it in your mouth, we've got it down here. <laughs> So welcome to the Tim Boone Distillery. The first four words I normally offer people is we don't make gin. And of that we now are officially doing the charity gin for the Ruby 7 Frederick's Ataxia Research. So we're officially established in 2007, making us the second oldest active distillery in the state. The big still that we have just over here, that's our most recent addition, and that one arrived in March of 2020. So as of this current annum, we have made 12,000 litres of saleable whiskey product. And the hand sanitizer, absolutely. <laughs> so it's all Mallee grown barley that we use, but it does spend a brief amount of time in New South Wales getting malted. After learning the history of the distillery, Charlie leads us across town to their cooperage and bond store for tastings. Welcome to the Cooperage. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. Uh, what we do in here, most importantly, is after we buy the barrels in from Sepplesfield or Rutherglen or other places that we give them a little bit of maintenance, we give them a shave down, so we take that little bit of, uh, sort of wine or fortified kind of goopy, syrupy stuff, give it a shave down to about one millimetre penetration, and then we put it on a little rotating trolley here and we give it a nice char out. Mask is off and take a good whiff of this. I'm a bit nervous now. <laughs> Don't be nervous, it's just alcohol and breakfast syrup. Yeah. <laughs> our tongues are awake, our bodies mm. are awake, we're in a tasting mindset. Mm -hmm. And that's what our whiskey is. The only thing we do from that is we leave it in a barrel for however long. There are no extra additives except the wood. That was educational. I was admittedly apprehensive about that, but I think I've been converted, so I really enjoyed that. Welcome to the Whiskey Club. I'll be fighting you to the cabinet now. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. Thank, Thank you very much. The distillery also has its own restaurant on the deck that is open for lunch. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to See you next time. Have a good afternoon. Bye. Just across the creek from the distillery is the famous Australian home of the Tim Boone Ice Cream Company. Great spot for dessert. What did you think of Tim Boone Railway Shed Distillery? No, it was really interesting, and I really. I think I can handle whiskey after all, knowing how to drink it properly. So, would you recommend it to somebody who's never had whiskey before? Definitely. Yeah, they cater for the novice through to the connoisseur, I think. So your official bar humbug score? Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. I agree. It's a long way to get here, but well worth the trip. It's an excuse to have a weekend away. Darling, we're going down the coast to drink whiskey. Oh, and have ice cream. And ice cream. Well, thank you for accompanying me on my bar humbug journey today. My pleasure. Uh, we're going to head back to town now. We'll see you next time, bar humbuggers. Nine out of ten. Do you hear me? Get your ass down to Tim Boone. Cracking whiskey. and good ice cream. <laughs> you have to bleep that. Yes.